Hello, it's another day. It's still my days off, so I'm here. I'm going to pick up my sister and a friend of mine. We're going to eat some Vietnamese food, pho. So I haven't seen her for a while, so I'm gonna meet with her and this will be exciting there's so many you know we're gonna talk about life stories and of course anything under the sun or mostly about work or life health and all that stuff i have a prayer for today i would say lord help me today help me empathize and help me lord empathize and understand other people and help me lord to be able to uh, give them courage to go on with their lives or courage that i have that they can do the same in their life amen Look at my mango. What is this? Mango juice or something? Mango boba. It looks so refreshing. And then I got me a vermicelli with shrimp. Looks so good. It's very good. And then my sister has another boba here. And then bitter melon and spring roll. And then this one, a taro, boba. What is that taro? It's purple. And what is this? I like it so long. What is this? Strawberry for you. So, this is our dinner for the night. It's really good. Tea. Peace to all and hope everybody's good and happy. Just like me. Always happy. I try to be. So, done with the lunch dinner or whatever you call this and see well i'm gonna take this to go <laughs> because when you watch it it's this is so uh, this is a mango boba it's really really good so i might be coming back here again Peace. Because it's so good, I'm gonna take it home. Oh, what is that? See, taking it home. <laughs> it's good food. <laughs> See, I just show my my drink. That's all. Where's my sister? Where's... So, okay, so now we're done eating, we're going. So, this is the name of this is Pho Cafe. It's a Vietnamese grill, which is next to Hong Kong Diner. Just right across Atlantic. They spend a dime. <laughs> I don't have to spend a dime. This is a long lost friend. Ah. All right, here we go. Here we go to my car. Hello, <clears throat> back home. Okay, after today's and so much fun. So. Of course, after today, I get hungry, so I made my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And this will be my, like, breakfast or whatever you call it, snack. So it's already 1.20 in the morning, a.m. So got home, watch my TV.
Okay, for today's word of wisdom, I think we're going to the word adversity. Adversity, meaning any misfortune, any bad luck, or any, you know, uh, something that is not good that comes into our life. Okay, adversity. Or any problem, any anything, okay. So I think it's very rough. That's that's like you know adversity is like that. So we we normally get depressed, right? When we have problems, we normally just you know try to dwell on it. We dwell on it, and then. And we have a hard time finding a solution about it. But we have to realize that all those mysteries were really blessing in disguise. Yes, those misfortunes are blessings in disguise. So we just don't even know that. So our mood changes, you know, we, we become... We start having negative thoughts about it. We become discouraged about it. Because why are we getting these problems in our life? Why are we, you know, experiencing these worries in our life? Why this adversity, misfortune? is just like sometimes, you know, losing a job. That's one of adversity that happens in our life, you know. So, but we didn't realize that problem that comes into our life, it shows or get our hidden potential that we have something in ourselves. It makes us strong. It's a rough road, but it makes us strong. So, and we become unhappy. We don't even know that it's a blessing in disguise. So you know what? You know how, how adversity gives us, it gives us perspective. It makes us realize that we can do something out of any problem. We can solve any problem if we only do it. As long as we focus our attention on that problem, we are able to solve it. So, and another thing, adversity teach us to be grateful. And you know why I said that? Because when we experience all those misfortunes, and especially deprivation or loss, we develop an appreciation of life. You know, we start, for example, like, you know, we start appreciating small things, you know, like hot water, even hot water, we appreciate it because if we lose, if we have nothing, no hot water in the house, we, we become sad. So that's why after, after the problem is solved, we start appreciating. It tell it teaches a lesson to appreciate everything what's in our life. So all those problems, it has a reason. So it also those adversities also open a new door to us. You know, if we lose a job, for example. We just don't know. Sometimes it's a blessing in disguise. Because you know why? There might be some more better job for us. We're unhappy on the job. Get out. You know, there's a better blessing. So it's, it's nothing that you have to dwell on to that problem. We can always solve any problem if we want to. And then also, those adversities... It builds self-esteem. 
it builds confidence because all when we muster when we master our determination to do and solve the problem then it gives us the courage right so we have we have a great feeling of self-worth we become more important to ourselves and positive feelings too so look i know tv is on of course sure we all have a share of our problems you know we do but those those problems are always can be solved so we don't have to judge our situation as a tragedy and death and dwell on it how bad it is we can get out from it we can solve it sometimes you know we always have the choice we have the choice and we can it's either we can view our problem negatively or positively so it's up to you but for all of us we know how to dwell we know how to solve it i mean solve it in a positive way and not to be depressed so next time we have problems or adversity in our life don't be discouraged don't give up we have to be brave on facing it because and there's always a solution as i've always said